stupid ass on shit. All the little niggas on the mission, judging when they spin. I'ma get that 7 out of 10, bro. May see any. He is known by the name Killer Kells. For me, he's a pillar of drill music, even if he never blows up with his music. He's one of the many rappers who unfortunately never succeeded in the rap game. Kevin Fifeer, also known as Killa Kels, was born on June 14, 1990, in the south side of Chicago. I can't lie, Killa Kels is not a famous rapper, so we don't really know much about him when he was young. Everyone knows Normal or Lamron, it's the same thing but pronounced backwards, a black disciple set located in Englewood. Lamron is repped by famous rappers like Lil Durk, Lil Reese and even Chief Keef repped it. Some infamous members like Lil Mo were from there, even if Lil Mo was originally from Circuit City Gangsters and not Lamron. Also, Lil Mo was Lil Reese's cousin. So, Lamron is a famous set, with famous members in. JL, OJ, Lil Law, who was just released from prison after serving 13 years for an attempted murder, put a Laffler and Mora from there. Lamron is also known to be one of the founding sets of 300 Alliance. 300 is an alliance of a few black disciples sets including, Lamron, Taytown, Dog Pound, Lowell Life and the whole HBE, SMB, AMG, Face World 079, Oblock and 600, even if AMG and Lowell Life are at war now. In 2012, Lamron was considered as the public enemy number one in Englewood. They talk about how Chief Keef popularized drill music and also Lamron. Lamron is known by every fan of drill music. But if we talk about Lamron in a video about Killa Kells, it's because Killa Kells and Lamron are linked. How? We'll see it together. Back in the 2000s, Brick Squid 069 wasn't made yet. Lamron was founded with his name by a few people, including rapper Killa Kells and known member Lil Law. Rapper Swag De Niro from Brick Squid 069 and half brother of fallen rapper Lil Jojo explained in an interview with Vlad TV how Killa Kells founded this shit. Killa Kells helped with the foundation of Lamron, and he's an original member from there. At that time, Killa was friends with people like Lil Law, Lil Durk, and Lil Reese. Because yeah, now, they are ops. Of course, Killa Kells was a black disciple at that time. Lamron was already at war with famous alliance No Love City and The Shields, who was clicked up with some No Love City sets at that time, they are no more clicked up, some are at war now. Like Lil Law and Lil Reese, Killa Kells was an active member against his ops for Lamron, and in particular against the No Love City alliance. Killa Kells was allegedly already a shooter. Killa Kells started music around 2008, and he has two featuring, at least, two known, with rapper Lil Reese, Pipe Down in 2008. Killa Kells has also released a song named Lamron 065 and in this song, he shouted out fallen member Lil Mo who was locked up at that time. As I said, he has two featurings with Lil Reese, the second one is Chevy Ridden. We can say it, it was another Killa Kells. So, Brick Squid 069 did not exist yet, and the set before Brick Squid 069 with D-Town, a set close to Brick Squid 069, were not at war or not in beef with Lamron, they were more neutral. The known members like Swag De Niro, Lil Jojo, P. Rico, Musalina, Lil Don, and more, were not Brick Squid 069 members because it was not made yet, and were just some young members or affiliates to the set in their area. But most of them were already affiliated to the Insane Gangster Disciples Gang. But why was Bricks with 069 made? And why Killa Kells is no more Lamron? Killa Kells had one cousin named Thomas. Thomas was a D-Town member or affiliate and was close to his cousin Killa Kells. I guess, Lil Durk didn't really start the new war in Chicago with his song L's Anthem but the killers of Thomas did it. Let me explain it to you. Thomas was born on August 27, 1980 and was killed in 2010. On the day of his death, Thomas was allegedly killed during a robbery gone wrong. In an interview with Vlad TV, Killa Kells explains how he made bricks with 069 after Thomas was killed. Allegedly, Thomas was killed by Killa Kells set, Lamron. 
This is why Killer Kel switched up on Lamron and made his own set, Brixquid 069. Killer Kells made the set the same year as Thomas died. This is how Killer Kells left Lamron, for the honor of his cousin. If Thomas wasn't killed, Killer Kells would never leave Lamron and Brixquid 069 would never be created. So, Lil Durk would never diss Brixquid 069 in his song Els Anthem and maybe Lil Jojo would never become a rapper. You see what I mean? Thomas' death caused all of these things that took place after his death, even though he never caused it. In 2013, in his song I'm Wishin', Killa Kells honors his cousin Singh, Thomas Why You Have to Serve That Hype, in reference to the new war in Chicago. Imagine if Thomas had never been killed, it would be so different today. So, Killa Kells left Lamron, made Brixquid 069 and wanted to turn up for his cousin on his former set. In an old interview made by Chicago World News with the Brixquid 069 member, he said Killa Kells was the founder of Brixquid 069 and before Brixquid 069. They were known by another name and they were not at war with Lamron. Still in 2010, Killa Kells switched from Black Disciples to Insane Black Disciples, which means he is still a Black Disciples but at war with others Black Disciples. If you check in some of his videos, Killa Kells still up the three for the Black Disciples. Killa Kells starts to become a BDK member for Lamron, trying to turn up for his cousin on Lamron, shooting at them. In addition to all this, Killa starts a personal beef with Lil Reese. I don't know if they are already shooting at each other because Killa allegedly shoots at Lamron members on different occasions but I remember a post of rapper Pirico from Brixquid069, saying a thing about Lil Reese and Killa Kells. In his post, Pirico says Killa Kells used to chase down Lil Reese in the streets with a belt after spending time with Reese's sister Shadi. In turn, he also becomes a public enemy for Lamron. In 2011, rapper Killa Kells released his video song So Much Money. In this song, he dissing Obama from TYMB. At that time, TYMB and Lamron, accepted Lil Reese who always was DIY for both sides, were cleaked up, until Pluto death in 2013. In the video, we can see Lil Jojo with dreadlocks and other known members. But 2011, it's also the year Aki will be killed. Aki Muhammad was a known, loved and respected Brixquid 069 member. He was close to a lot of people including Killa Kells. Aki was looked up by young members from there and Aki was already active against his ops, like against TYMB. During a party, Aki was shot to death by a Dipsult 071 member. Before Aki was killed, Dipsult 071 and Brixquid 069 were not at war, they were neutral like with Lamron before Thomas' death. Dante from Dipsit 071 shot and killed Aki, then was arrested and charged with the murder. Last year, in 2021, Dante was released from prison. After Aki's death, Brixquid 069 starts a war with Dipsit 071 in honor of Aki. Members like Killa Kells and Killa Kimo will be hunting for Aki on Dipsit 071 members. Some members from Dipset 071 were killed, like Ty. But, there's a lot of cap to about the war Dipset 071 vs Brixquid 069. Even if Aki death started a war, Aki and Dante were beefing before the murder on social media. So even if the two sets were neutral, like everywhere, some people have some beef with other people. Killa has been in and out of prison a lot, and he's currently locked up though. In 2011, he was arrested and locked up for a few months and will be released the same year. In February 2012, he's back in prison. A few months later, in October 2012, he's back in prison again. In January 2013, Killa Kells was arrested again. He will get out on bail. During 2013, in November 2013, he's arrested for X time. Three years later, in 2016, Killa Kells was arrested. Now you understand why Killa Kells never succeeded in music? 
In 2017, rapper Kells was arrested again and he's still locked up for this case. But back in 2012, when he was free and everyone was alive, or at least, some of them. In 2012, Killa Kells was arrested two times. He still releases songs with some rappers from Brickswood 069, like King Dre or Smolez. But in 2012, it's also the death of rapper Lil Jojo. In 2013, it was the year of the Twitter beefs. Lil Reese and Killa Kells diss each other on Twitter and some bricks with 069 members joined the beef to diss Lil Reese, still on Twitter. If you check it, Killa Kells never dissed a fallen Lamron member. Even after Lil Mo death and Thomas death, 2009 for Lil Mo and 2010 for Thomas, when Killa Kells switched up he even merged sometimes on Lil No, but Killa dissed a lot of fallen Oblock and 600 members, and also TYMB. In 2013, it's also the year he releases his famous song 300k. Before he was arrested, Killer released some projects. With Cold Summer, which is for me his best project, he releases If I Die Youngin, and also in the video song, in honor of fallen rapper, member and producer Smilla's from Brickswood 069. We can't lie, Killer Kells is a talented rapper but does not take music seriously. In 2017, Killer Kells was arrested again. But this time, it's serious. Kells is arrested in Missouri with Vaishanda Simmons, Deja Parker and Donna Mosley. While they were driving fast, a police car stopped them and controlled them. When they searched the vehicle, they found a stolen 9mm, some marijuana and 900 grams of methamphetamines. But while police were searching, Killa Kells tried to run away, stole a vehicle and started a new race but police stopped him a few miles away. He was facing drug trafficking, drug possession, resistance during arrest and more. He had no bond. Killa Kells faced 15 years of prison, and pleaded guilty. He will be released from prison in 8 years, around 2030.